In this special holiday edition of REN TV, we have highlights of a star studded evening at the IICF annual dinner in New York. You'll hear from several industry leaders award winning journalist Paula Zahn, New York Yankee Mark Teixeira, Major League Baseball's Joe Torrey, and a special presentation by the evening's honoree, XL CEO Mike McGavick. All this and more, you're watching World Risk and Insurance News on REN TV. I'm Brian Vermeer, and on behalf of the management and crew at World Risk and Insurance News, we wish each and every one of you a wonderful holiday season. We close with a few of the more humorous moments from the IICF, and we think you'll enjoy it. Join us next time for our special year-end edition of World Risk and Insurance News, right here on RIN TV. Thanks for watching. I have never hesitated to ask the tough questions to those in power, whether they be in government, any form of government, uh, science, sports, whatever including the insurance business. We all know that uh, insurance is the new cool. The only thing cooler is reinsurance. And yesterday I was at a lunch with Usher and his New Look Foundation does some, you guys know who Usher is, right? All right. The blank stares. I, uh, I mean, I know it's the insurance crowd, but I mean, come on. Come down the elevator. Uh, last day of a, of a uh, series against the Red Sox, and this couple gets on. Says, uh, you know what? He said, if I had a choice of beating the Yankees or capturing Saddam Hussein, <laughs> I would pick beating the Yankees. <laughs> True story. It always reminds me of the time the Englishman the Scotsman and the Irishman went out for a drink. Being of good taste, they chose Guinness. As the beers arrived, they each looked down and each noticed, astonishingly, a fly in each beer. The Englishman said, I can't do accents. The Englishman said, Barkey, there is a fly in my beer. Take it away and bring me another. The Scotsman looks down picks up the fly, shakes it off, throws it over his shoulder, says, waste not, want not, down it goes. And the Irishman picks it up, glares at it, and says, spit it out, you wee bastards. <laughs>